Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us at Cooking with the Count. Today we're going to make some uh, fresh mahi, and we're going to put it over romaine lettuce, the baked romaine um, that we actually have in a previous video. Um, I'll put a link at the end of the video that you can go to the baked romaine uh, because this is really going to be good. You, uh, we're just going to pan fry the mahi mahi and just butter and a little bit of olive oil. Then we're going to put it on the romaine and top it with some black beans. It is a wonderful lunch and I think that you'll really enjoy it. With that, let's get started. Okay, I'm heating up my butter. i get that nice. I actually want to bring this almost to brown. This trusty hammer stall pan is phenomenal, but you got to be careful because this is such a great pan. It heats up very, very quickly. I don't want to burn my butter, but I want to brown it a little bit. As you can see, see it's starting to turn brown a little bit. This is what I'm looking for. This is going to make that fish just absolutely incredible. Nice. Oh, that sounds good. Add a little pepper. Throw in a little bit of salt. And now, just as it starts to cook up a little bit, we're going to add our olive oil. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mahi is a nice, gentle fish. It's not a fishy fish or whatever. Um, I think you'll like it. Oh, that's pretty. Like I said, it doesn't take long to cook. This cooks up very, very nice. And the brown butter actually gives it a beautiful flavor. As well as a nice color. Yeah. That's really good. Don't overcook mahi. Um, this is just too gentle of a fish to, to overcook. A nice cut is that broth is gonna taste really good on the uh, on the romaine. Yeah, I'm gonna say these are ready to go. And I want this broth. Nice. Okay, we're all set. Those of you that haven't seen the, the baked romaine uh, video that I did with my daughter, um, this is what your baked romaine looks like. It's actually a head of romaine. We split it in half. We put some olive oil. We put some chicken seasoning. We put some capers. And this one here has artichokes. Uh, various Italian cheeses and then after we've topped it with mozzarella. This is our mahi which came out excellent. We have a beautiful heirloom tomato. An heirloom tomato for those of you that don't know what what they are, the seeds as uh, the name refers to heirloom are passed down from generation to generation. The nice part is there's no GMOs 
than not cross-pollinated with anything else. This is an old-fashioned tomato. The seeds will date back pre-World War II or at least 50 years old. That's, thank God, before GMO was even thought of. Well, maybe not. Anyway, to make a long story short, as you can see, the tomato is so much more meaty. It has less juice, but the flavor is incredible. The skin is very soft. You're not going to bite into the tomato and rip it out of your sandwich because you can't bite through the skin. The skin is very soft. It's very juicy. It tastes like a tomato. Anyway, we're going to add some sliced tomatoes to this. And then after that, we're going to go so far as to um, put some black beans on it too. See how, how nice and easy this slices up? You know, the skin is not fighting me. And come on. This is a great lunch. Especially if you're having a few friends over or whatever. You just want something fast and easy. I mean, you can't, you can't get any easier than this. I mean, you can have this put together and in the oven in a matter of minutes. Um, I'm going to keep my fish for last. Okay, and here's a nice, healthy uh, lunch that really looks awesome. I mean, I need you to take a look at this. I mean, that is really a beautiful plate that I'd be proud to serve to family, friends, and guests. Uh, mahi is such a great, great flavored fish. And with the baked romaine, the heirloom tomatoes, and the black beans, you know, you can't get much healthier than this. But, you know, for those of you that um, uh, are a little on the, on the uh, portly side, as we like to say, um, remember, round is a shape. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm in shape. It looks really good. I'm gonna try a little piece of fish and I want a tomato. I, I really want a piece of everything on this. This just looks too good to just sample just one piece of something. And with that, thank you for joining us with Cooking with the Count. You can find this recipe along with the romaine recipe at www.cookingwiththecount.com. I mean, this smells incredible. It looks incredible. And I think it's going to taste incredible. Hmm. Please try this recipe. I think you'll really enjoy it. With that, God bless and bon appetit.